I want to show you a way that I think works really well to do skin tone. I'm using an airbrush and just like a printer, a, the, a machine prints in layers, you can airbrush the same way. With airbrush you can do real even layers. The first layer will be the lightest color which will be yellow and I'm just going to put that on basically evenly across the whole surface. Now it's time to do the red, and I mixed my, this is just acrylic wall paint that I got from Sherwin Williams, and it's a mix of the, to be specific, it's the interior duration, but I mixed it in a shot glass, because I like shot glasses because they don't have a lip on them and they're easy to clean, because the hard glass, the paint doesn't stick to it, and if they have a lip, it's annoying to try to pour those. So I like to use these shot glasses to mix. I thinned it with probably like a 50-50 mix of the XIM extender here. That's hard to see. Let's get it back in the light. Anyway, I tried all kinds of different things. That one works all right. You could probably find something better. Now I'm using this little, this is an Iwata. And my uh, buddy Mark McCowell from Australia sent this to me in the mail. Isn't that nice? What an awesome guy he is. He sent me this airbrush after I had said that my airbrushes got burned up in my Jeep. So now I have this brand new nice airbrush, so big thanks to Mark. And I am noticing that this thing is made for super fine detail. It's got a very sharp, long needle on it, so you, it, you wouldn't want to... It's not going to put out a whole lot of paint. Uh, what it is, is it says Neo for Iwata. I haven't even seen these. I mean, gravity feed dual action. Into. So, I love when people send me stuff. It's the funnest. I'm gonna put the red. There's certain places that where the red shows up on a face. You know, like well, you can see a lot of red in my face right now. It's a good example. You see how there's a uh, let me get the right spot. A hard line of red. Okay, everybody has a redder area on their on the underside of their cheek than what is in the surrounding areas. And that's, that's really common. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this guy's face right here. I'm just barely fogging this on. I mean, you can go nice and slow. I've got the pressure probably way down at like only 20 or 30 PSI on this airbrush and I'm just barely fogging it in. And here, I want the red for the most part to stop when it gets to that crease. See that then? Now he's gonna look real red faced on this layer. Then when I do the dark layer, it'll all come together. Now there's gonna be red mixed in everywhere. So there's gonna be a thin layer of red on everything. Put more here. You know, my basic workflow with an airbrush is to just kind of keep the air constant with these dual action. This one's a little different than the... I've been using, before I pulled this one out, I was using my... This airbrush has this side feed cup that rotates, and that's cool. And it's got a lot bigger output, and it's got a trigger, and I use my middle finger to pull the trigger. And this one will do real fine detail, too. And... You can point the cup. The paint does drip down. When you point it upward, the paint starts to travel down the down that tube of the airbrush. That's kind of annoying. But uh, this one doesn't do detail quite as quite as fine and quite as accurately as this little Iwata. And this Iwata is more responsive with the paint flow because the gravity feed straight on top, the gun has a much more direct path straight to the end of the gun and it takes less air pressure to pull that paint right down. Uh, you, you, the needle stays wetter and it, and it cannot dry on the needle you know, quite as easily anyway. I'm not an expert with airbrush, 
I just know the way things need to look, so I just kind of fumble my way to the finish line. Okay, so let's do this. You make real fine lines. You can, you can do the, these tiny lines by just keeping the airflow and just barely pulling back. And see, I'm resting my knuckles on this because I got shaky hands. And I need to steady with two hands. So on his lips here, I'll just get the littlest bit of airflow. Real close. And as long as I got two hands, I can actually get a real fine line on there. If it starts to clog up, which it does all the time, I just <laughs> shoot something out of my hand. As I back the airbrush away from the surface, I get a wider fan that kind of fades out. One of the defining characteristics of skin tone is the shadows are real colored. If you look at the shadows in my face, those, those shadows have a lot of color, those dark, real dark colors, real deep red compared to surrounding non-skin tone objects. It's hard to compare it to anything now. Well, like my hair. You know, if you look at my hair, uh, there's a whole lot more red in the shadows of my face. When I see skin tone that is not done well, it's usually because the shadows are way too gray and not not a saturated color. So this red is real good to put in the shadows. Wherever this shadow is on the face, I put a layer of red first. I need to stop talking and paint this thing. Or else I'm never going to get it done. <laughs> never going to get it done. Put a shadow up here. See right now it's just red, but when I put the shadow color on there, it'll, it'll be cool. Eye sockets. I always imagine Jesus being real thin in the face, you know, like, I mean, he fasted for like 40 days. <clears throat> kind of a mind over matter personality guy, you know, like nothing, I don't know, that thin face just looks weathered and hard, like he, like he's been through hard times, like he walks all the time. Little bit of wrinkles. He's like 33 near the end of his life on earth here, so. This is real interesting at this stage because you have all these red shadows and the face just looks, just looks so red, you know. Make all the red under the nose. That's gonna all run the shadow. Here's a dimple. I thought this dimple looked cool. Helps to add to his smile. So I'll make sure that I accent that.
I think we got everything. Alright, then I'm gonna do that to everybody else's face. Then the final arrow will be the brown. Do the next.